Welcome artist. This is the first of a new series of conversations with artists and other folk from the art world. For these conversations, I'm going to be focusing on the business side of their practice, aiming to distill the strategies and tricks that these creatives use to get where they are today, and how you can apply these tips to your own art practice. In this Today, we will be talking with Eloisa Hobetze, a photographer from Mauritius, which is a small island off the coast of Africa. We talk about how, due to the pandemic, she went from offering prints and photos to the, the big tourists. We talk about how, due to the pandemic, she went from offering prints and photos to tourists to having to dive deep into the online world and how she's doing so. So, stay around. Welcome to Artists Not Being Poor, a club for visual creators across the globe, working together to grow our creative careers by educating, empowering, and driving you to reach all your wildest career goals. Connect, share your work, tips, and inspiration, and let's grow together to become the best artists we can be. The myth of the starving artist is bullshit, so let's work together to become thriving artists. Guiding you on this path, your host, me, Stefan Lundgren. Uh, welcome to, to this new series of, of interviews with artists. Uh, uh, I guess, you know, everybody know that we're going on through a crazy pandemic. And I just thought that it would be a good time to get to know a little bit more artists in a, in a more personal level, get to know their own specific uh, problematics, how they're dealing with the pandemic, what they learned so far and uh, how they're planning to, to move forward, you know, since uh, everybody's um, art career basically got flipped upside down uh, due to this virus. So today we're going to be talking with Eloisa Roberta. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself before we, we start with some questions. Sure. So I do, uh, I suppose, traditionally what is called fine art photography. Uh, I've always been a photographer. I've always loved photography since I was a child. I think I got my, my first little like Instamatic camera when I was about nine years old. Mm. And uh, since then I've, I've been into photography. I love high dynamic range. Um, as as a as a younger student, I was quite inspired by the artists like Matisse, uh, the Fauvist movements, of the bright, bold, uh, dynamic sort of stories that those arts told. And I think that's why I was kind of drawn to high dynamic range photography. And I love the skill involved in taking so many photographs and then, you know, obviously playing with the lights and, and combining an image that really speaks to you. So, so most of my photography is done in the HDR formats. I love landscapes. I focus on landscapes and the sea, the ocean is my favorite thing to photograph. So I spend a lot of time on the beach. I spend a lot of time, uh, especially in Mauritius, where you can do a lot of walks in nature and everywhere you go, you have a view of the ocean. So for me, it's perfect because um, I love to photograph the sea. I love the, the boats, the, the pirogues is what they call them here, the old traditional wooden fishing boats, which they still use. So I love to tell kind of sea stories and boat stories and um, I've sold traditionally and, and predominantly online uh, and to tourists. So because I think I take quite sort of commercial images which obviously appeal to tourists. Um, Mauritius is a touristic island. And now my struggles are, we have no tourists and we're not likely to get any tourists anytime soon. And historically, I've never really focused on online selling um, because I've sold in person and I've, I've had a market. Yeah. Now that market's been taken away and I'm trying to do online and I'm quite intimidated with, with the whole... Instagram and Facebook and websites, those were always secondary tools for me 
and now they're having to become the primary tools, and I don't really know how to harness the yeah. value of those of those tools. I, I think that the, the the most important thing is 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 that you're willing to take a step into something that 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 might sound scary, you know. Um, I think that's the most important thing. And I think that you're pretty well aware that at this point, it's it's essential, you know, that this online platform kind of thing. Uh, and the second thing that, that I think would be worth mentioning is I'm not telling you to go and become an Instagram influencer overnight, you know, no crazy TikTok dances, you know. I, I think it's just a matter of having like, uh, efficiently planned and quality online presence you know it's it's nothing crazy so um, first off uh, how ready how, how finished would you say that your website is for example do, do you currently have a website that people could come in and have a clear idea of who you are Yes, I do. So, so I do have my own website, um, which I think is quite comprehensive, and I do keep it relatively up to date. And I also have obviously linked with other platforms like Saatchi Arts and Emerge Arts. Mm -hmm. So, so I try to focus because because obviously they've got a bigger kind of distribution pool than what my website has. So I've tried to harness that. Um, pretty much what is on my website is yeah is yeah that, that's a great that's a great start that's a great start uh, the such art and uh, the big platforms actually it could actually be a two-sided blade so a sword I guess yeah. <laughs> swords are useful too you know but uh, the thing is that while they do have really huge huge audiences they have huge audiences and they have a lot of artists so it could be a little bit hard for you to get visibility there you know i think it's very important that you're getting this done that you're putting your stuff out there and all of this so keep up the good work so so that's that's the beginning you know the 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 um, that would be like what we would call stage one I will go ahead and have a little bit of a look into your stage zero, you know, about like your artist text, your inventory and, and some promotional material about yourself. That's that's very important, you know, so okay. so I would recommend you that uh, have a look into your inventory and see how comprehensive that is. Uh, you know, you, you told me that you're selling limited edition prints, so maybe listing out how many prints available you have of each photography, uh, what do you have printed, you know, what's, what's your stock? We're talking about, you know, art is beautiful, art is spiritual, emotional, whatever, that bullshit. It's a product. It's, 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 and you're a business, you know. Art is a product, you're a business. So we need to start thinking about us like business people and you know i i say it in the most loving way possible uh but it, it's it's crucial uh so so i would have a look there and uh i would also look into developing within your website um an online shop because because uh all good selling through sachi all good selling through art spare art finder Beautiful, sell wherever you can. The thing is, the thing is, you don't own these websites. You don't own the traffic. You don't own the information of the buyer. In a lot of cases, these websites don't give you the email of the buyer, for example. So um, you, you are spending time, effort, money, whatever, and you don't get their email and, and you don't control the, you, you just get, you know, hey, you sold an artwork to John Doe, He's, here's the address, ship it over. And, and you cannot establish a relationship with this person. You cannot build on, you cannot make him uh, your long-term collector. And that's a yeah. pity. That's a pity because they don't really have the chance to connect emotionally with you. So yeah, continue, upload it. Uh, I'll send you a list of 15 amazing websites to sell your artwork, upload them to all of them, but, but, but open your own shop because uh, at the end of the day, 
You're going to be spending time and effort to send people over to Saatchi. You're going to send time and effort to send them to, to uh, Artfinder. Well, yeah. you know, and, and, and this is very uh, complicated with what I'm going to tell you as phase two, you know. Hop up your Instagram game. You know, I'm not talking that you need 50,000 followers. I myself, yeah. I only have 2,000 followers and I make a lot of money out of my Instagram, yeah. you know. So yes, yes. step no, up your Instagram the, game. The the, exactly, the exactly. Buyers. You don't um, need. But it's getting them, you know. It's yeah. Getting, it's moving beyond the friend and family stage, and exactly. people actually want to buy your art to follow you. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna set up a little bit, a, a little plan, and then you can uh, message me, DM me, and tell me how it's going. The first thing I'm gonna need you to do is record a one minute video in your studio talking about yourself. And I, I'm pretty sure what you're gonna say now, I hate being on camera. Everybody hates being on camera. I, I have a TV show. 55 times, yes, and have a script. Have a script, point out who am I? Where am I from? What's my story? And, and uh, show, you know, put up some, beautiful artwork on the background you know <laughs> do you think it's a it's an accident that i filmed the podcasts with artwork on the back no oh well, like john knows about this like look at his background um the thing is you know this is we need to emulate a little bit the feeling of i walked into your art gallery or your art exhibition you're there and you're introducing yourself to me. I, I need to get that same feeling from this video as if I walk up into a gallery and says like, who are these photographies from? Where are these beautiful beaches, you know? So the first thing you need is a, a welcome video, something that says, hey, I'm Eloise, this is what I do. And then, and that that will be kind of like the hook. What you can also do as as phase two in this is do a giveaway. So um, a lot of, put it out there that you want to give an artwork for 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 a present or something like that in exchange yeah. for their emails. You know, okay. and this could work very well with you because because you're doing photography and prints. It could be a little bit harder for. Uh, uh, a painter or a sculptor because yeah. of, of the high prices of the materials. But I think you're in the great position to do this. So the idea is you hook them with a freebie, you know, and it doesn't have to be a super, super big artwork or, or you know, like a, a immense print with museum glass. It could be like really your lower, lower priced item, just yeah. so you can create a little bit of a, of a, um, of um momentum let's call it you know just yes, people going okay. and then every week you're gonna create a piece of content one piece of content you know beyond all your instagram posts or whatnot you're gonna create one piece of content and i mean like one photography that you took and you're gonna write a, a, a significantly long maybe like four, five, six hundred word blog article about it. And yeah. that's and, and every week you're gonna be creating a new one because this is the way that you create an emotional connection with your audience. Okay. Or or else it's just like, oh, this woman I saw on Instagram. Yeah, whatever. So yeah. your goal here is emotional connection. And then you are gonna run that all with a little bit of Facebook and Instagram ads, a little bit, just a little bit, you know, maybe like one dollar a day for your welcome video, you know, and maybe fifteen dollars throughout two weeks for the giveaway, and then you know maybe like five or ten dollars each time you do a, a blog post, you know, calculate into uh, your budgeting how much it would make sense and how much you would have to sell for this. But basically what, what this welcome video is going to be doing with the, the Instagram man money is kind of like the top of your sales funnel. 
a sales funnel is like a funnel where a lot of people come in, less people sign up for your email, less people click on your emails, boom, they buy, you know? And you know that kind of mathematically, the bigger your part on the top is, the more people get in touch with your art and familiar and follow your stuff and whatnot. And, and that slowly will, 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 um, would slowly will transform into sales, you know? So it's, it's about having this, this constant machinery of creating content. I and mean, I'm not talking becoming like a media company either. I'm talking yeah. about putting your art out there in a effective manner, have an intention with your Instagram usage and, and, and using that to, to leverage new people and new buyers and, and just putting your eyes, your art in front of new eyes, you know? Yes, yes. When you say the, the, like the content, the blog, the blogging content, are you talking about an actual blog? Like I need, on my website, I need a blog post. Uh, it, it wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be a bad idea. I, I don't know which website builder you're using, but it has to have a blog functionality yeah. somewhere. Uh, yeah. or the other way is, is put it as Instagram or Facebook posts, but okay, okay. you know, uh, it, it will be something more as a meaningful post, you know? So it could be, yes, uh, yeah. maybe you're during the week posting photos of your work and maybe as a meaningful post, you, you do like a carousel with, uh, the picture and then the picture framed and details and some video of, of like zooming into the picture and maybe a short snippet of, of you like hanging it very ceremonial on the wall and taking a step backwards and like, mm, it yeah. looks good. You know, it, it's, it's kind of like a piece of content that you will, that you would be proud of, you know, like the top 1% yeah. of, of quality for your content. Thank you. <laughs> start. Yeah, yeah. Start start with the one minute video. Think about, you know, how be, I, I'm talking one minute because that's what you can post on Instagram, you know, without uh, cutting it or without having to transfer it for Instagram TV. So and, and it's kind of like a deadline. It's kind of like a structure. So 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 it, it will help you in this process that is scary of, you know, filming yourself. So, so make sure that, you know, I can see some artworks on the back, you know, put some on the wall to choose like a nice ambience with good light and good plants. Plants, plants are very pretty for this kind of stuff. And, and use this as your bait, as you, hello, I'm a Louise. This is what I do, you know, and, and you can shoot it on your phone. Uh, don't, don't go crazy with, with quality wise, you know, like. This thing is better than any camera I had two years ago. You know, it's like, there's like three lenses, like the whole shebang, you know, it's like, it, it just works. So, and, and you can download some, some apps that allow you to cut and, and slice videos and put images and background music, you know, don't go full on crazy, but give it, give it some love because you're going to be using this long term. Okay. And, and you're going to use this video as, you know, hi, I'm a Louise. Nice to meet you. But on the internet, you know, it's like a internet presentation, you know, introduction kind of tool. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. So I, I would recommend start from there and start collecting emails because that's very important. So the main goal of your social media is get people to come to your website and sign up for your email because you might have a thousand followers on Instagram, but just one or two percent of those people actually see your posts. But yes. when you see it, send an email, you know that everybody getting that email. So yes. important. So yeah. you use that and you start transforming your social media presence into a magnet for emails. Then you sell stuff from email you know, every week or every two weeks or every three weeks. You write a little email, blog post, you know, it, it could be very well related to that, that specific important blog post that we were talking. 
and just like talking like, hey, this is what's been happening in my career. You know, I've been dealing with lockdown like this. I'm so happy that I can go to the beach still and take these amazing pictures. You know, um, I, I'm so blessed. Just like all, this is all like bullshit text. You know, I'm so blessed that I get to go to the beach on a daily basis that I want to share it with you. I want you to be in the beach with me. And for a small fee, you can have a piece of the beach in your wall, you know? And, and, yeah. but the good thing is that via email, these people already know you. And then they are what we considered warm leads, you know? So, so it's not cold leads. Leads is like a people that you're attracting to your business. It's not a cold uh-huh. lead. It's not like shouting to a stranger like, hey, do you want to buy some art? It's, it's like somebody that knows you. So, so it already has like a little bit more connection, let's call it like that. Also, okay. so, so you're using social media to heat up the leads and then sell via, via email. So I would recommend you also to, to on parallel focus on doing your own website because you're not going to spend your time, money and energy redirecting these people to, to buy from Sachi art, you know? Yeah, if you yeah. got these people on your list, sell directly. So, yeah. And and okay. yeah, and then you use other platforms, such as Art, Art Spirit, Fine Art America, all of these as satellite shops for your stuff. And if you have your 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 Instagram and your website well done, it could happen that people will find you in these websites and contact you to buy directly. But the thing okay. is you have to have these 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 tools in place you, you have to have a website where people can buy without you know exchanging 25 emails with you yes no so okay mm. thank you it's a pleasure uh okay so yeah uh i i think that's a great time for artists to to try new stuff uh, the internet is here to stay. Email marketing is here to stay. Social media marketing is here to stay. So I am looking forward to see what you're going to be preparing video-wise. Cool. I will send it to you for critique. Uh, I, and I will critique it with love. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thanks for joining and thanks for accepting to being interviewed and opening your heart, your artist heart to all Never. of us. Never. Can, can I brag about one thing? Please, I love bragging. I did. I, I, did, uh, I don't know if you can see it. I did win. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, that's amazing. Contemporary fine art photographer. This is the Middle East and Africa markets last year. Mm-hmm. Oh, lovely. Uh, yeah, thank you. So yeah. We were supposed to have, um, we were supposed to have a big gala uh, dinner thing in London. Uh, I think it was scheduled for March, and obviously it didn't happen. So it was quite sad that this amazing thing happened, and then nobody knew about it, you know? Well, don't worry, the internet is here to, you know, to be there, you know? So you can actually, that's a very good story to share, you know? Like, you yeah. won this amazing prize, you thought it would be like a breakthrough on your career, but like... Shit happens. <laughs> Shit in the form of a global pandemic in this case. Yeah. So you can tell about how, you know, you were expecting to go on this direction with your art career, but you had to pivot to online sales because, you know, it's not happening. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Thank you. No, it's a pleasure. If you enjoyed this interview, be sure to check the link on the description. There's a lot of more information about how you can grow your art career. And if you are one of these starving artists, join our club, be part of our community, and let's work together to become awesome artists.